here we have some pepper plants growing. We grow a lot of different peppers, hot peppers and sweet peppers, and we, we sell them fresh, but then we also process them and we make a hot sauce that we sell year round. This is New York City, obviously. We're located here in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. We established Brooklyn Grange in 2010 as an urban farming business that would promote urban agriculture while also generating profits and social and environmental benefits for the city of New York. Our farm is built on a green roof system. Green roofs are inherently good for the environment. We are bringing green space into the city, we're cooling the air, we're creating more oxygen, we're sequestering carbon dioxide, we use organic agricultural methods in order to promote ecology while we're farming. One of the biggest benefits of what we do here on the roof is we capture storm water. New York City and many cities in the world have rainwater management problems and so it's very valuable that we can create green spaces that capture rainwater and keep it from flowing into the sewer system. A couple of years ago, we were connected with the UN Food Garden Project, which was very exciting for us. We helped them figure out how to work their irrigation system and how to install all of the soil, and also many of the plants that started out that garden actually came from our greenhouses here on the roof. So the UN Food Garden is a staff recreational club, and what we do is that we grow food very locally at UN headquarters in New York and it's the only garden on international territory, which is quite exciting. But it's primarily a place for you and staff to come and learn how to garden and be active in their workplace with something that we also work with on a grander scale when it comes to sustainable development and food security. Well, we just had planting, so right now what you can see coming up is squash, we have uh, lavender, red basil, tomatoes, we have cucumbers, we have corn. We try actually to have produce coming from various parts of the globe. Our fertilizers actually primarily come from food scraps from you and staff or from the cafeterias around here. We keep it very natural. We don't use any pesticides in that sense that it's chemical, which we're very proud of. One thing which I find is really beautiful about this garden is that once people enter that door and come out to the garden, Almost everyone I've met can really let go of who they are at work and they just become a gardener. So it's a really great space for everyone to just connect over gardening. The chickens are our most popular stop on the educational tours for the children who come here. I think most people realize that there are serious challenges with the food system today, both in the United States and internationally. There's a, there's a lack of even distribution of food. We have some people with obesity problems in one place and then people starving not very far away. The challenges in our food system are many and as populations around the world become more and more urban and city oriented, it can be easy for people to lose sight of where their food is coming from and they can lack an appreciation of agriculture and the important role that farms play in our world. One of the biggest roles that urban farms like Brooklyn Grange can play in that discussion is simply raising awareness and bringing people together around these issues. We, we like to bring people to our roof to have positive conversations about the good work that's being done here in the region in New York State, but also around the world to promote sustainable agriculture, to, to try to find more justice for workers in the agricultural sector, and also to, to think about food distribution and food waste and how uh, we can be more efficient with our, with our food resources worldwide.